the studio and I will probably use this as my proper introduction so hello if you're new here my name's Hannah from Handmade Designs thank you again if you've already been around and you're joining me again it is always appreciated and this is what helps build my business and my channel today I'm going to be filming a Skillshare class and I've just done the intro for it it's going to be about sublimation and how you can get started and selling today but yeah I'm going to be showing how to firstly sublimate to just the equipment the printers you need and what you can produce with it and we're going to cover coasters mugs mouse mats it'll just be an introduction so it's mainly for beginners kind of an overview of looking at the class to see if it's an area of the business you want to expand. I mean I know some people already have like a flat press, they have a heat press etc and they just want to know if it's something that they are looking to get into. So the class is going to be helpful if it's just something you've been toying with the idea and if you do already have Skillshare it is great to just hop on, have a look and if you don't, you can have a look at the intro, um, which again, I'll pop the link below. You can just have a look if that class is of an area of interest to you. It may be that you've never actually considered sublimation, or it might be that it's been an idea for a while and you just want to see what's involved, the process behind it and the results you can create. That's my job for today. And in regards to the business as a whole, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of what I've been up to, going back like I mentioned in my, my little intro a while ago, I think, not 100%, but I think this is where I'm heading, is pivoting my business towards working with other creative makers. So if you followed me for a while, you would have known that a lot of what I do is creating products from my own designs and I absolutely love it but this has always been one area of the business and this is primarily kind of what I show you know social media etc and behind the scenes I actually work with other businesses to create products on a more wholesale level I'm back and with a cup of tea and I've lost my trail of thought already where was I oh yeah okay so going back I've always worked with other creative businesses to create products that work for them and it could be anything from signage, printing hoodies, even down to one of the first jobs on my laser machine was actually cutting like 500 door handle display, I don't even know what you'd call them, um, but obviously because they don't really go with like my brand aesthetic, I've never showed them on my channel or on my Instagram and I think going forward I want to make that the main narrative of kind of what I do because I love drawing and I love making but I do think that a lot of my skill set probably comes from a more product making point of view I don't outsource any of the jobs that I do everything is done in-house here in the studio everything I've reinvested has been in myself and my equipment I just want to offer those services to other creatives where they don't want to go and get 300 of something made. They just want to trial maybe five, see how that product works within their business before they either one maybe do outsource it to a larger scale or do come back to myself and, you know, reorder more in a bigger quantities. But I think one of the hardest things in business is sometimes putting your faith in products and knowing if they're going to work. And a lot of my success has come within the business of only doing one to two of the items, seeing how they sell and then remaking those items and going from there. I just want to work on a more independent basis with the creatives to cut, like to use their ideas and to create their product. I've always had a lot of fun doing it and I love seeing how other creative businesses work and I love bouncing off them and I think it's just something that I want to explore as I take my business just into the next chapter. I wouldn't even say next level because I'm still going to be keeping the Etsy shop and everything else that I do. But I'm going to push that a little bit to the background for now. Going forward, I think I'm going to really show how I'm working with other businesses and show that aspect and hopefully work with some of you guys. And yeah, I just I'd love to see how I can help bring your illustrations and your drawings to life and see what we can come up with and see what works with you for your business. 
a lot of what I have been doing has been a lot of groundwork behind the scenes that is really not interesting. I've been rewording my website, just having a really good hard think about how I want to do things and how I want to run everything. I think now that I've made the decision going forward, I'm a lot happier with having some focus and some clarity around that. And I think it's just about doing it now and, and going forward with it. So my first part of making that actionable and actually doing it is one bringing out more Skillshare classes and courses so if it is actually printing and things you want to do it yourself you can learn how to do that and that high quality content and learning will all be over on Skillshare. I'm going to go ahead now and start filming my Skillshare video so that it can be filmed and done for the day and then I'm going to come back later and then I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I've been working on and how I've been getting on with that. So I will see you in about an hour or so. It took me roughly about an hour and a half to two hours and to be honest it took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. We covered making a mug which I've just simply added my logo to and then I did this illustration the other day but it's just my iPad with my camera because I do content creation and florals because I feel like it's very me and what I love to do. So I created that little logo and I've showed how to print that onto a coaster and the press you need for that. And then something a little bit different, we did a bit of colour so I just took one of my lettering pieces that I made ages ago and added a little bit of colour to the background but I just wanted to show what it would be like to print in colour and kind of the results you can expect. That's the class film. I did forget a few things so I had to go back and kind of re-add those in you forget when you do it day to day you just kind of go to default mode and just start like making the item and I was like right I need to rewind and go back and share like this is the glove I use and this is the settings and this is this is the time I use etc so that's all been done that's filmed that's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to edit if I'm being honest so that is something I'm going to be doing on the night when Adeline goes to bed and I do get that time kind of to myself but for now, I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So, this has all been like laser machine stuff. And I didn't film it and I was kind of conscious I needed to film a studio vlog. I hadn't had one for a couple of weeks. The problem I was finding is the whole filming a vlog is a whole creative process in itself. I'm thinking of what camera angle to do, what camera angle to do next, what would look good from over here, what look good, would look good from over there. So, for me, the vlogs are they're a nice way to express my creativity but when I'm focused and I know the job that I'm doing in hand when I'm kind of just looking to be creative and create new ideas for the business it doesn't really work because it kind of hinders that flow of what I want to be in and if you're watching this channel you're most likely creative yourself so you'll kind of understand I just needed to be in a creative flow with my materials and my ideas and you know when you just get the room into an absolute mess and you've got things over here, things over there and you're coming up with new ideas before you've even finished your last one. That's where I kind of needed to be. Coming in Loon. Two seconds, Loon is coming in. Come on in. Something's always got to give. There's never enough space to kind of do everything and unfortunately that meant that the last couple of weeks I had to do no filming and just create the products but now they're done I'm gonna go and show you what I've been working so two seconds I've been working on some of my wooden key rings and working with acrylic and you may have seen in my last video I was exploring acrylic and wood because it's something that I really wanted to explore so I'd actually made some of these key rings and they're on a little keychain Here's the back of them and here's the front. The acrylic can all be changed to whatever colour that you're looking for. I'm going to go and get my bag with the other example in two seconds. Right, I've got them. They haven't got the chains on, but it will kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what I've been working on. So I've got one where I did a new home one and it's just the initials of the couple with a little message that can be engraved. We've got one for a end of year teacher gift with a cute rainbow, again personalised with a message on the back. 
then my favourite which is a pastel rainbow coloured mama we've got ones for brides which I thought are quite nice these ones are actually they're nice and chunky and rather than actually appearing I prefer to put them on my bag will pop a picture up because I took them as bag chains I was really pleased with how they turned out so that's why I went down the avenue of kind of exploring those but once I'd done that it kind of led me down the path of creating a display so I got thinking and I made myself a display here is the base plate and here is the front display I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put that one back in though to be honest, I'm supposed to do it again because I have done it on two pieces of wood. I would probably look at a way of doing it once, but this just simply slots into here and makes for a craft display. So I'm gonna, I'll show you now. I'll pop it down on on here. update of what I've been up to. I know there's probably not much substance to this vlog and not much to really show in terms of like where I usually make the products and show you. All of that will be resuming in the next couple of weeks but I just wanted to keep you updated just to keep you in the loop of where I've been at, what I've been up to. It's all exciting. I'm looking forward to the kind of the next part in the business and seeing where it goes. I do think over the years in just my Etsy shop alone I've sold to over 14 and a half thousand customers and that's a lot of parcels to send out and sometimes I think we kind of we can get lost in the whole process of it all and not really appreciate how far we've come really I really want to now take the time to share with people to create a business that they love that is sustainable to them and what that means to them. Yeah, I I know this isn't for everyone. The way that I run things isn't typically nine to five. I do a few hours here, a few hours there. Like my, my days look completely different and before I kind of compared that to the nine to five and I think I'm starting to realize that in order for it to work for me, you really need to make the most of that flexibility that you do have. For me, I started the business to have the freedom of my own time and I really want to make the most of that. Yeah, I want to bring you along with that journey too. So if there is anything that you'd like to see on my channel, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you look forward to kind of sharing this journey with me. We don't really know what it means, but I hope to be explaining it to you and sharing the behind the scenes along the way. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe because honestly, it really does mean a lot and it does mean that I can continue to bring this content to you, continue to grow my business. And it doesn't even mean that you need to buy a product or anything like that, but just by liking and subscribing or even dropping a comment, it really does mean a lot. But thank you so much as always. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.